Hello again, I'm Diederik, and welcome to another video about gut strings and what they can teach us. Um, I created a number of exercises which you can find on my website in the free PDF uh, form. Um, and if you haven't checked them out already, um, I'd love for you to see some of my previous videos in which I talk about um, uh, different concepts, um, sound production, uh, playing off the string, um, but also finger pressure, um, especially the last one is going to help you a lot coming into this exercise. Today we're going to talk about shifts. Um, gut strings feel very different to the touch, and that's why they can be so helpful in helping us um, uh, practice shifts, because we need to be extremely light on the string in order uh, to do them, which is going to give us a very... Um, uh, a very effortless light uh, shift eventually. So in the first exercise that I created for this, um, you start on the A string and um, we're going to first use our second finger to, um, and, then we're, and then we're going to shift to that finger with our first finger. So when you're doing that, um, uh, make a mental picture of the finger that you just placed, the second finger, and try to shift exactly to that note, being very, very light on the string. Again, um, uh, in the previous uh, video, I talk about finger pressure, how to find the ideal um, finger pressure. You're going to do that by slowly, slowly putting the finger on the string uh, where you first hear noise until you finally hear a note. So that's how light our finger is going to be on the string here. So make sure that when you're tri uh, first traveling towards um, the note that you're shifting to, that you hear all these notes in between and that the shift towards the note as well as the shift back is very gradual. The first two shifts that we're doing are shifts of uh, a semitone and a whole tone. Those are gonna be done just with the hand. We're not gonna need the, the whole arm to shift there. Um, once we start uh, um, shifting from a minor third, you might want to use your uh, arm there, although it can still be done with the finger too. But starting maybe from a major third, that's where you're gonna start using your arm. The minor third is, can be done both ways. So once we've practiced that, we're now gonna, uh, going to practice shifts in arpeggios. So uh, it's the same concept, but now we're also um, uh, using string changes. So if you want to uh, take a look at my video about uh, string changes, string crossings, uh, that will be really helpful about, uh, for this exercise. So here we're going to start on the D string. And when you plant your third finger on the string, make sure that you put down your second finger as well. You always want as many string, uh, fingers on the string as possible. That'll get you a really, really solid sound and also be really good for your intonation. So you're first gonna do this in uh, two bows per note and then after that you can do it in four. Just like that. So um, that's it for um, uh, for shifts till this point. Make sure your shift is always very, very light and uh, you can hear all those notes in between because then when you increase the tempo, also in the piece that you're playing, you're going to get a very, very light, very smooth, quick uh, shift. Hope this was helpful and uh, good luck practicing.